possibility. These numbers are reflective of potential. What are the things I desire most in life? Can I have those things with this level of potential? Will I sacrifice this and still have to do all of this work for this quality of life? Because that will determine whether you say, $100 gig, I'm there. $200 gig, I'm there. Uh, I'd rather make 200, but if you can pay me 150 and I can have a tip jar, all right, cool. Now the responsibility is on me to make sure that I have a couple bucks in cash to put inside of the tip jar, that I have a sign where people can Venmo me and that I put on a performance that earns the other $50 plus. You can frame it in the mindset of, well, if I go in with no tip jar, I can only make $200. If I go in with $150 and a tip jar, I have the potential of making 200 plus, which I never had before. Believe in your gift and your skill and your ability. Someone opening up the possibility for people to reach into their own pockets and give you money is actually worth more than them guaranteeing you the extra 50 bucks. You just have to do the work in delivering on the other end. And it's a real question to say, do I want to do that work? I would work sometimes three to five shows a day. I have to discover the balance because like I used to work every single gig. So it was very much survival. Didn't keep track of how much I was making. I just felt in this constant state of like fear and desperation. And I got to get to the next gig. And I didn't enjoy what I was doing because I was like, I got to get to the next one. I got to be there. I got to be on time. With the residencies... There was no joy. I'd get to the gig and that's how I got fired. Now I'm really telling one on myself, but like, I was so complacent. I showed up at a gig. I was not appreciated. No one cared that I was there, but the problem was I just wasn't present to them. So I lived in a reality of I'm not appreciated. I don't like what I'm doing. Yes. I'm getting paid. Yes. I'm working consistently, but I was anxious. I was stressed out. I said all bunch of things about myself and I was never satisfied and it didn't matter how much they paid me saying this to you so that you can get the world of what I was once in and so I can get present to you like I really have to put that aside because it has nothing to do with now and it's important right to address like kind of what's already in the space like what you said let's unpack that it's like okay what's what's the baggage we got here that we need to unpack because we're not going to move forward When people say like, you could just go get a day job. I'm like, I haven't worked a day job in over several years. Like I gave my word to being a full-time working musician. So to me, accepting like a day job occurs like going backwards, but let's not limit it. Like, let's actually look at that. Like maybe there is something else I could do outside of gigging that can support me, that can be fulfilling now for who I am now, a match for who I am now. It's just going to take me getting out of my own way and limiting what's possible. You don't have to turn your life upside down. You can do all of this and also have a job. That to me, the dreams that you described to me mean that you're going to work every day. If you're like, I want to increase my social engagement. I want to have dedicated fans. I want to do more podcasts. I want to do more radio interviews. I want to do more performances. If you truly want to do all that stuff, you're going to work every day, every day for like years, every day. You're either going to be in a rehearsal. You're going to leave that rehearsal. You're going to go to an interview. You're going to leave that interview and go do, go to a recording session. You're going to leave that recording session. You're going to hit a writing session. You're going to leave that writing session. You're going to edit social media posts. You're going to stop editing social media posts and you're going to have to respond to everybody that was there. You're going to have to then send out emails. Every single day, you're going to work. And every day is going to be working for eight to 10 to 12 hours a day before you enter into a space where you can like dial some of that back. That's the reality of the dreams that you have. I feel like when you shared oh, you're going to go to like the show and then the studio and then a writing session. And I know you call it work. To me, it's, oh, that sounds like fun. Like Performing is fun, right? But at some point in time, it became anxiety 
I, I know this because we went through your psychographic profiles and stuff. And, you know, it's like the fantasy and the romance and stuff. You get to experience something that is fairly romantic. You get to go to a place, have people pay attention to you, perform music, receive money. You get to do this. At some point in time, you started to feel the anxiety of, damn, I got to get to this gig. I got to sing for this thing. I'm just here. I'm going through the motions. That's a reality, period. You will get tired of going to radio interviews, of going to writing sessions, of recording in the studio, posting social media content. You're like, oh, I want more fans and more engagement, and I want to make 10,000 followers, and I want to blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, well, now you have 10,000 people that you have to entertain. Right. You're going to take five DMs, and it's going to be 500 DMs, and people are going to be upset if you don't get back to them. That feeling is just a, a real feeling. It's how you look at it and you look at your life and your future and your goals and your opportunities. Again, your why that determines how you feel about it, because those feelings can come into every aspect of what you do. And you know it, you know, that's a reality. You've seen people like Britney Spears or something like that. Mega success right now. Obviously, we're going to an outlier, right? But mega success and be like, I'm burnt out. I had to get checked into the hospital because of exhaustion. You think they're just vacationing and it's just cool and lolly? It's like, no, 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 it's, it's nonstop. It doesn't become less work. It becomes more work. That's the reality. Putting that in context so that you understand, are these dreams that I truly want to chase or are they dreams that I want to dream about? 